In this homework problem, we're looking at applications of adding sign decimals. Let's read the directions. Represent the application problem using addition in symbolic form and evaluate. Notice there's some extra directions. Place all negative numbers in the symbolic form in parentheses. And also, make sure to use an addition statement even though a subtraction statement may apply as well. So you're going to have another problem where you're going to write applications in terms of subtraction. Um, in this one, even though we could write them as subtraction, we're going to write them as addition. So let's look at the first one. Penny has $7.45 in her savings account and negative $12.18 in her checking account. So that's our given information. And the question is, how much does she have in the two accounts combined? So remember, we can think of combining as addition, and this can be written both as an addition problem and a subtraction problem, but we're combining the two amounts, $7.45 and negative $12.18. So we would write $7.45 combining or addition, negative $12.18. So this is how we would represent this symbolically. Okay. So we could write 7.45 minus $12.18 and they're equivalent, but to write in terms of addition, uh, we'll use a negative number. Okay. So now let's, so this is what would go in this spot. Okay. Now let's calculate this. Well, the two numbers, their signs are different. So that means we're going to subtract their absolute values. I'm going to start with the larger absolute value and subtract the smaller. 8 minus 5 is 3. Okay, I need to borrow here because I only have 1. 11 minus 4 is 7. Here's my decimal point. And 11 minus 7 is 4. Now we have to take note that the larger absolute value was this number. So our final result will be negative. So our calculated amount is negative 473. And that makes sense because she has more negative money than she has positive money. So the combined amounts will be negative. Okay. And this result you put in here, and don't forget the parentheses around the negative number. And then again, you only put the parentheses in the symbolic form, not in the calculated amount. Let's look at the next one. Kayla camped at negative 1.2 miles relative to sea level. She then hiked 2.3 miles upwards. Now I see the question is coming. What is her current altitude relative to sea level? So this is our given information and this is our goal. First, we want to write a symbolic expression using addition that represents this problem. So we want to combine her previous height, okay, and then adding on how much she has hiked upwards, which would be a positive number relative to sea level. So we have negative 1.2 plus 2.3. Notice the negative number is in parentheses and I used addition. Now to calculate her relative height to sea level, or her relative altitude, we want to add these two numbers. The uh, signs are different, so I'm going to subtract the smaller absolute value from the larger absolute value. 3 minus 2 is 1, 2 minus 1 is 1. Now to determine the sign, notice 2.3's absolute value is larger than negative 1.2's, so our sign is going to be the same as 2.3, which is positive. So our answer is just positive 1.1. Now let's look at the last one. Tom gained 3.4 pounds and then lost 3.1 pounds. Oh. And then it asks, what is his total change in weight relative to his original weight? Okay. So we can think of this. 
as combining a gain or a positive amount of pounds, because we're looking relative to his original weight, so the 3.4 gaining would be positive, and then losing 3.1 pounds would be negative. And we're using addition, so we want to combine the gained weight plus the weight he lost and determine his change from his original weight. So this is the expression we'd have in here. And to determine the difference, we'll subtract the smaller absolute value from the larger absolute value, which gives us 0 0.3. And since he gained more weight than he lost, the absolute value of 3.4 is bigger than the absolute value of negative 3.1. That means the difference is positive, and we have 0 0.3.